Hi, Jacob. Thanks for your question. Um, I just wanted to give you a little reminder that although you are welcome to submit questions anytime you want on SnapMath, um, we have tutors available Sunday through Thursday from 4 to 10 p.m. So those are the times that we are guaranteed to get back to you quickly. All right, let's get down to solving your problem. Um, if we're going to find all the roots of this expression, we are going to be using Descartes' rule of signs and the rational roots test. So Descartes' rule of signs says that we're going to count the number of sign changes if we have positive x and then count the number of sign changes if we have negative x. The maximum number of real roots we're going to have is 4. So the maximum number of positive real roots we will have by Descartes' rule of signs, let's see, this is a positive here, so we'll have 1, 2, 3 sign changes. So we'll have 3 real roots at max. And then if I just input negative x instead of the positive x here, Let's see what it gives us. Okay, if we simplify this, it looks like all of the even numbers are going to say the same sign that they were up here, and all of the odd ones are going to change. So we will have x to the fourth plus x to the third minus 6x squared minus 14x minus 12 equal to zero. And it looks like we have one, only one sign change here. So the maximum number of negative real roots we're going to have is one. So let's go ahead and figure out what those roots might be. Let's go ahead and factor our constant. If we factor 12, we will get, of course, 12, 1, 6, 2, 3, and 4. Now let's go ahead and factor our leading coefficient, which is just 1. Whoops. Factors of 1. Easy peasy. It looks like we can have either positive or negative roots, so all of these are plus or minus. Okay, our possible real roots are going to be, um, our possible rational roots, excuse me, are going to be um, the factors of the constant over the factors of the leading coefficient by the real roots test. Fortunately, the factors of the leading coefficient are just one, so all of our possible rational roots are up here. So we're just going to try each one of these, um, and by trial and error, that's how you're going to find um, the factors. So. All right, we're going to use synthetic division and get started. So I'm going to try, I actually have factored this already. Um, I'm going to start with 2. So I'm going to see if I can factor out x minus 2 from this equation above. So Setting up synthetic division, I'm going to have 2 to my left. And then it looks like we're going to have 1, negative 1, negative 6, 14, and negative 12 inside my box. 1, negative 1, negative 6, 14, and negative 12. My remainder will be over here, and if this is a root, I'll get 0. Let's drop down the 1, multiply, we will get 2. 2 minus 1 is just 1. Multiply, we get 2. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. It looks like 14 minus 8 is 6. Whoops, there we go. 
2 times 6 is 12. Negative 12 plus 12 is 0. So 2 is indeed a factor of this equation. And when we factor it out, we are left with, let's go ahead and drop our degree, our leading degree of x down by 1. So we get x to the third plus x squared minus 4x plus 6. All right, let's see if we can factor anything else out. I'm going to try to factor out a negative 3, which means I'm trying to divide out the factor x plus 3. Negative 3, let's see, I have a 1, 1, negative 4, and 6, and my remainder is over here. Let's go ahead and drop down the 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. Um, negative 4 plus 6 is 2. And negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, so our remainder is 0. So negative 3 does indeed factor out. And when we factor out x plus 3, our equation looks like this. Okay, let's see if we are able to factor this quadratic at all. Quickly, what I'm going to do is just set up the quadratic formula and I'm going to evaluate the square root part, the discriminant. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, so it'd be 4 times 2, all over 2a. Whoops, all over 2. So if you look underneath this square root, it looks like we would get an imaginary number. If that happens, that means that the factor that we're left with here is actually irreducible. So this is how we would factor that entire equation, and this will be your final answer. Thanks again for your question, Jacob, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.